Welcome to the Missionary Hut, a programme that looks at the latest sustainable development ideas. I'm Gail Wilson and I'm on a six-week volunteer programme with the NGO Hands on Help for the Poor and I'm based out here in the Missionary Hut. In this episode, we will be looking at an award-winning design for a solar-powered oven for use in the developing world. As the oven's designer points out, with as many people as there are in the developing world today, they can't just cook using wood, they'll finish off all the trees. The oven has been praised for its use of simple, sustainable materials, including cardboard boxes. The low-cost production cost means that the oven can be manufactured easily. Back in the UK, a sustainable living advisor is going to show us how to make one. Hi and welcome to Sustainable Living Made Easy. I'm what's known as a Sustainable Living Advice Guru, otherwise known as a slag. Now feel free to copy me at home if you want these, this fabulous oven. It is truly, truly fabulous and I'm going to, you're going to know why when I finish making it guys. But let me tell you, it's egalitarian. It's egalitarian because literally anybody anywhere in the world can have these. So poverty in terms of famine and, and going without food need never be a problem any longer. Now you really don't need much for this either. So you need two boxes like I've got here and you need some tin foil, let me get the tin foil, some tin foil and you can get these anywhere, you can get it in Tesco's, you can get it in Sainsbury's, I've heard that you can even get it in Africa, so you can get these anywhere, okay? Um, you need a pot of black paint, now I got this from B&Q but you can also get it in Wix and um, you know, be creative guys, you can get this again anywhere in the world, in Brazil, in the rainforest, um, in the desert in Africa, you can get it anywhere. And by the way, you need, a, you need a stick. You can get one of these off the trees uh, to stir the paint. You also need some sellotape. Here we go. Uh, you, need, you need some paint brushes, of course, to paint your box. You'll see that in a minute. You also need a roller because really the paint brush is to just fill the gaps and, and you need a roller. Here's my roller. There we go. That's a roller. You can get these anywhere in the world as well. You just need something to, you know, dash your paint on. Now, let's start. Oh, by the way, as you might have noticed, I'm wearing a helmet. Health and safety never undermine health and safety. Okay, guys? Now, so as I said, you need two boxes. Of course, make sure that they're sealed at the bottom. You don't want your food falling out, do you? And here's what I did earlier. One of the boxes, you just line the inside with tin foil like I've done earlier. I'm just going to finish because as you can see, there's a gap here so you can see how it's done at home, you guys at home. So here's your tin foil. You're just going to rip a little bit off just like that. Very easy. There you go. We're going to line the little bit that I left just like that. There we go. And I'm going to stick it down with a little bit of tape. And where's my scissors? There we go. A second box, as you can see, it's just a cardboard box. You know, your stationery, your paper from Viking Direct. Any of those boxes will do, guys. That's the other thing, you never waste anything. Now I'm just going to get my roller. So you just put the paint on, you just, you just give it a bit lick of paint. Now you might want to give it two or three coats of paint because you know it doesn't always go on in the first round. Now I've done most of this earlier because I, you know, just to save time really. Uh, but I'm just sort of finishing off the last bits just to give you guys at home an idea. Um, some of you might be wondering, well, why can't I paint it red or white? Why can't I just not paint it at all? Well, let me tell you, you need to paint it black because it absorbs the light of the sun. It absorbs the light. Okay, guys? Try not to breathe when you're painting this because the fumes can be dangerous. It doesn't have to be amazingly tidy, but, you know, do it with some love. It is your oven. I mean, you can take these anywhere with you. In fact, you can carry them around with you. Go fishing, take your oven with you, cook your fish in here and have it. How wonderful is that, huh? 
Right, so there we go. I've painted it. Now, all you're going to do, this is actually dry now. All you're going to do, you're going to take the black box, we're going to put our lined box in here like this, and we're going to put our food in here. Right, shall we see how it's doing? It should be done by now. Oh, look at that, would you? Just have a look at that. Totally piping hot. Oh, it smells gorgeous. Oh, I do like my asparagus al dente with a bit of hollandaise on it. Oh, and there we go. Let's celebrate the future of a beautiful, amazing, egalitarian invention. Here's to never being hungry again. Let's have a taste. Let's have a taste. Bits of hollandaise. Mmm. That's incredible, guys. Really good. Bit of wine. I could be in Africa. Production of the solar cooker has already started at a number of locations and the first shipments have been delivered to families in the developing world. We were lucky enough to be there when one of the first boxes arrived where it was needed most. Isn't that heartwarming? Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for now. But please join us next time on the Missionary Hut for more on the latest and best sustainable development ideas. I'm Gail Wilson. Till next time.